الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين My dear brothers and sisters uh, in the Muslim community in Kenya and across the world uh, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem Ramadan is the ninth month and the holy month in the Muslim calendar is the month that all the gates of hell are closed. It's a month that the gates of paradise are opened. It's a month in which the Holy Quran was delivered to Prophet Muhammad in the night, which is among the tenth night, the last ten, tenth night of the month of Ramadan, the night of Laylatul Qadr. Ramadan comes with the peace. From the month of Ramadan to the Muslim Ummah it means the month of peace, the month of blessings, the month where we share whatever we have. It's a month where we develop relationship with the Almighty God. It's a month that we fast during the day and we pray during the night. It's a month where you find uh, in the whole night, in the 30 days of Ramadan, you'll find the Taraweeh prayers. It's a month where you get and perform the Tahajjud prayers. It's a night where people are to perform uh, uh, the late night prayers. And I really want to urge Muslims in our country that this is a very, very unique Ramadan. Ramadan that we cannot go to the mosque. Ramadan where we cannot invite the less fortune to our homes and to the mosques so that they can share the little food that those of us who have, have it can give to the less fortune. And this is all because of the pandemic. Ramadan, uh, this particular Ramadan, is unique in the sense that we are faced with a pandemic uh, uh, of COVID-19. In the year 14,000, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, talked about such pandemics where he allowed people not to move from one town to the other in order to stop the spread of the disease. But because of the pandemic, I think we have an opportunity as the Muslim Ummah to go back to the Holy Quran, to go back to uh, uh, Tawbah, to go and ask for forgiveness. It's a month where you ask for forgiveness. It's a month where you do a lot of Tawbah. It's a month where you seek blessings from Almighty Allah. And I want to urge the Muslim Ummah in our country to pray for our nation, to pray for our nation so that the Almighty Allah is the one who, uh, who brings uh, uh, and he's the one who, who removes. We, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that have mercy on our people, have mercy on Kenya, have mercy on Africa, have mercy on the Ummah and everybody in the world so that uh, this uh, COVID-19 uh, becomes a thing of the past. Ramadan is not uh, 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 something which is uh, only unique to the Muslim Ummah. If you read Surah Al-Baqarah, it says fasting, fasting or psalm has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those Ummah before you so that you can uh, get a tawbah so that you can be very close to the Almighty God. So I really want to ask uh, the Muslim Ummah, we have an opportunity. Despite not performing our prayers, our Taraweeh prayers, our Tahajjud prayers, our Qiyamul Layl prayers in the mosque, we have an opportunity to do our prayers in our homes, in our families. And we can still donate. It's a month of charity. 
we want to donate uh, to the less fortune in our society. Let us uh, make sure each and every one of us, the rich and the poor, regardless of your status in society, you have an opportunity to make sure that every one of us get iftar, every one of us get the little food, it's a month that we can use our zakah. It's a month that we can use charity. Because this is a month of charity. It's a month where you uh, uh, give what you have. It's a month that you must take an opportunity to be closer to the Almighty Allah. It's a month that you do a lot of dua. It's a month that you must read the Holy Quran. It's a month that it is compulsory and the sunnah. Of, the, of, the, of, of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that each, of, on, each one of us get an opportunity to read the Holy Quran uh, during this period. I urge all Muslims to pray for our nation. I urge all Muslims across Kenya to pray for our nation during this difficult period that we have never been before. And I ask the Muslim uh, uh, Ummah to follow the protocols, uh, health protocols given uh, to our nation, whether it is the washing of hands, using sanitizers, following the cessation uh, of movement regulations uh, provided by government, whether it is keeping of distance, but we pray to the Almighty Allah that because this is a month of blessings, this is a month of devotion. This is a month where we do a lot of tawbah. This is a month when we have an opportunity as a ummah uh, to be closer to the Almighty God. This is a month of charity. This is a month of prayers, whether it is uh, tarawih prayers, tahajjud prayers, our normal five uh, daily prayers, uh, qiyamul uh, layl prayers. We must all at these particular prayers, pray for our nation, pray for our people, pray for our government, so that all of us together as a country, this is a month that we must unite. And urge our Muslim brothers, Ramadan Karim, so maqbul.